What's going on guys, welcome back to another video, and this is an Agony Sure, I'm going to make the entire for your Golden Corral. Now, I just want to say, I've never actually been to Golden Corral, so I used images and stuff to help me the best I could, but it was still kind of tricky, uh, which is why it might not be fully accurate or anything, because I already started doing things before I was, eh, that might not be entirely how it looks, but um, yeah, that was unfortunate. But here it is, uh, it's okay, I guess, I don't know, I'll talk about more of it later. But, uh, yeah, that's really all I have time to say, I guess. I don't know. So, with that being said, enjoy the tutorial, and I will get you on the flip side. Alrighty, so the space you need for this is, well, you don't need any space, so I need your golden corral from yesterday. Um, but obviously parking lot stuff, that's a thing you should consider. Um, that's not my problem, though. I probably should make a video about parking lots at some point in time. That would be an interesting thing to do. Maybe just take, like, I don't know, four different examples of buildings and just be like, okay, we're going to put a parking lot on this thing. But that's not the, the point of this video. The point is to do the inside of this. You do need some materials to start off. The ones that you need will be... That was a terrible way to structure that sentence. Gray wool. Cyan terracotta. Brick blocks. Birch planks. We're gonna run out of inventory space in about three seconds. Red concrete. White concrete. Black stained glass panes. And I guess we'll go smooth quartz. Uh, will we go smooth quartz slabs? Will we? Nah, we're not actually. We're gonna go smooth stone and smooth stone slabs. Sorry. I guess if you wanted to get out of smooth quartz slabs and just do smooth stone slabs instead, that would work. We're gonna do this weirdly. We're gonna make the entire roof and then I'm gonna tell you to punch out the lights. Why? Because I'm too lazy to do the entire pattern by hand. Um, I'm also gonna give myself some night vision. And the first thing you wanna do is come inside your golden corral, preferably with night vision on. And the first thing you wanna do is you wanna come to either the right or the left. I don't think it matters, although I should, I'd recommend going to the right considering the word think was in that sentence. And you want to, going backwards, you want to make the first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen rows of grass, gray wool. Thirteen. I also had to count that because I was like, what is the number? Because the number changed about six different times. I'm going to slash fill like 90% of this. Uh, I think the third corner was also eight. Yes. Uh, hopefully I was having a good day or night. I am for the most part. Apparently my English is not. That was a very, very, very sped up sentence that probably was only understandable if you know what I'm saying. Wool well, seven. There you go. And also don't forget about this little area here. Uh, I got rid of a red concrete, and for my OCD, I'm gonna put it back. Did I get rid of any others? Okay, I got my. I got lucky there, um, because. I forgot the that's off by a block but it doesn't matter for you you still just fill it in with gray wool I'm just not going to so I keep this grid here because I am not getting numbers for everything that was not something I was had interest in doing also anything in front of those 13 rows also do including under the dark oak doors that should go without saying but like you never know honestly so I'm gonna be like, ah, oh, yes, perfect, and yeah, even though it's not perfect, I don't know what perfect came from in that sentence, just like, ah, oh, yes, let's just leave this little grass area in our golden corral. Although I didn't particularly specify, so. Uh, I will say this, um, uh, most of the blocks behind that will be cyan terracotta, but not all of them. So we're gonna wait on that. If you wanna do it, I don't care, just go for it, I guess. But I'm going to start making some grid stuff first. So, come to the front, I guess. The front and middle section. The kind of selling point of this build, which is this section right here. Um, and you want to, the left and the right of this, kind of where the birch little weird things meet the main walls. You want to you want to bring those brick and birch each back by two so they are one past the back of that wall. If that doesn't make sense, too bad. Uh, you don't actually have to do all of them. You, I actually will. I'll just do all of them. Why not? Like that. And then the brick and red concrete section here, which kind of looks like a McDonald's symbol for some reason because of those two red concretes. They're really confusing me. You want to bring all that out by two. Just the brick and the red concrete. Except for those two red concretes. You only want to bring those ones out by one. But this basically just uh, gives us a thing. Yeah. I think you don't have to do uh, all of it because you're not going to see half of it, but it's fine. I'll do all of it for the purposes of this tutorial. 
Some of these interior tutorials are painful to make just because they're so time consuming. Like this probably took me 45, 50 minutes. Hopefully it'll take a little less than that, but you never know. Okay. We can move along from that or move on from that because I don't like it. Uh, let's start from the back right hand corner of your entire build and you want to count forward from this block by nine. And you want to place going left 12 brick blocks. Bring that entire row of bricks back by one. I knew I was gonna screw up, but if I knew I had the one block of lenience that way, so I was like, eh, whatever. Then leave a three block gap moving left and place brick blocks in line with that. So one brick block in line with each row. Three block gap, 13 brick blocks. And this entire wall is two blocks thick, like so. The reason being is because um, I had the space, so I was like, sure, let's do it. Because, um, mirrors, I can do mirrors with this space. Um, at the far left, I would bring the brick blocks back to the wall, only one thick there. And then the two in the middle here, I would bring each one, or I'd bring, I guess, the one back by four. So you actually want to bring this back by three, not four. Um, I miscalculated that wall, so there should be another block forward. Uh, and then when it connects to the wall, it'll be, I think, five instead of four as well. Um, sorry about that. Just a little error. I'll explain it later if it doesn't make sense right now. Um, but my the grid is wrong, basically, because I screwed up. So, yeah. Left and right by three. And the middle block connect back to the wall. That'll give you a slightly strange shape. And that's okay. I like strange shapes. Are we We like strange shapes here, I guess. I don't know. It's actually a cross, it's not that strange. It's just as weird in the context of the build. Hockey stick. Um, bring each brick block up with three birch planks. And then we'll keep going in a second here, but we'll just start with that. And then this will actually uh, make my voice crack, apparently. That wasn't that bad of a voice crack, but it still happened. Um, this will actually kind of help us almost map out uh, part of the cyan terracotta floor, not the entire thing yet, because we still have gray wool that's going to intercept along with a different block. So, we got a lot going on here. This is a pretty complex tutorial. It, I didn't make this with the intention of making it how I made it, if that makes any sense. Uh, because I was look, I was like, okay, I'll make it a restaurant, and then there'll be a bar or something. And I was looking up images, and I realized that is not how a Golden Corral looks. If I got this completely wrong, I've never been to Golden Corral. I know I'm too basic for that. Uh, so if I'm wrong, whatever. I guess I'm wrong. So you want to place on top of every single birch plank. We'll go with three red concrete. You don't need that many for all of it, but you don't, I don't think you actually need that many at all. But it, you'll need at least, no, you do need three, I think, in some spots. So just go with three. You don't need it necessarily everywhere. Also, on the back sides of the double layered walls right here, you don't need to add anything. You don't worry about that. Also, I guess this, technically this entire cross, except for the far front block of it. But I guess whatever you want to do, I'm just going to do it on all of it because I really don't care. Actually, I won't. I won't do it in all of it. I'll show you what you have to do, and then if you want to do the rest, then by all means, go for it. I don't really care that much. You do need it on the left here, however. I think. Do you? I don't know. I don't actually think you do, but I'll add it anyways. I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So that's really all you need. It's basically just the outer trimming of that area. Should have just said that. Uh, and then above the uh, doorways, you want to connect those red concretes together. And that will kind of just um, make it different. I don't know. <laughs> Crazy, right? There you go. It kind of looks weird because the red and the red kind of mesh and it just doesn't look right. But it, it'll look better in a sec. In more than a second. It'll take at least three. We're going to lay out the white concretes. And then I think we'll do... I don't actually know what we'll do after that. Come to the front left-hand corner of the bathroom section. That was the big rectangle we just made. Uh, and you want to, from this brick block, go forward with the white concrete. Then go left five. Yeah. One block gap, left seven. One block gap, left six. 
and then bring the ends of those rows back until they're one block away from the back wall, which I want to say it's like 10 or something. Back by 9. Total row of 10. Like so. And then I would place a black stained glass pane on top of every single white concrete, just because I can. Uh, they're kind of weird countered areas. I don't know how to describe them. They're counters, though. Oh, I forgot to add the um thing that uh the the really important thing that you pay th that the cashier or person is like, okay, let me type in some credit card numbers, and then you now owe us fifty dollars, or it's gonna be way more than that. Let's be honest here, restaurants. Um. Yeah. And then it'll be like, yeah, I forgot to add that. You can literally just like add it anywhere. It doesn't matter where. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna add that. And then what did I exactly? <laughs> what I forgot to. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna map out one, actually two things before we can fill in our entire floor with materials. Uh, first one's at the left side because we were just working on that. Break the far back row of grass and you want to replace it with cyan terracotta like this the in-between rows these little rows of one want to be gray wool um one is just for um i had it one thick because i just needed the space obviously under normal circumstances i don't think you'd want them only one block thick but i made the bathrooms too big and didn't want to make them smaller because of the or order of which i did things but yeah and then in front of either bathroom door you just want to place along the front row just a little row of brick blocks that just gives it a better transition from the gray wool to the cyan terracotta rather than just an abrupt transition. That's another block in there. And brick was already in my inventory, so might as well use it. Every other grass block, though, you want to replace with cyan terracotta. Uh, I'm going to slash fill this again. 2191, 8, and then negative 5. Why do I feel like those numbers are different than they were the first time? I guess it's because they are, huh? Interesting. Never would have thought that one through. Uh, and then I'll go this corner, and I will have to remember to do replace grass. Keep won't work, by the way. Keep doesn't work in this situation. Stained hardened clay, not... Oh, wait, yes, nine, because it's not... Uh, uh, it just is. Okay, grass. That's cool. Probably left the other one then, didn't it? Yep. There you go, nice. Obviously, you can't do that unless you do what I do, and you're because you're in bedrock, because you're cool. Um, <laughs> I'm joking, by the way. There's no no judgment either way. Uh, but yeah. I'll give a second here. I'm just trying to speed up the process on my end because I don't want to be here all night uh, making a freaking video. Like I was last night, actually, because of the uh, the Hell Neighbor stream. Because yes, that was yesterday in my time. Okay, come to the front and these little birch thingies. You want to count to the fifth block up, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Is that right? One, two, three, four. Yes, the fifth. And you want to bring the that fifth birch blank on both sides just back. Until it either touches a wall or is in line with the other one. Um, actually, go one short of that one. So this one will be 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Left one will go back 11. Right one should go back 12. Assuming my uh, 11 plus 1 math is correct, which I wouldn't count on it. So, yeah. Now what you can do is left and right of those rows of birch planks, you can place up diagonally a row. You can just fill in the ceilings in with smooth stone. Uh, so it's basically there and it's just on both sides. The middle, uh, wait on for like three seconds because uh, it has some funny stuff going on. So I'd like to explain the funny stuff. Anything else worth mentioning? Not particularly. Other than, uh, if you don't enjoy the Hell Neighbor 2 or, uh, Bendy streams, I'm sorry, because it's probably going to be a lot of that reason, uh, soon. I'm trying to milk those games while they're still partially relevant, even though Bendy doesn't appear to be as such on my channel. Um, I do also just want to throw this out here. Just, like, 
Don't ask me for, to make Hell Neighbor 2 in Minecraft. Revived was made for that purpose, which should, upon normal logic, should confirm that it's going to happen. Will it happen for a video? Probably not, I'm going to be honest. I don't know. I'll look into that. I've talked about that on a stream before, what my thoughts are with doing something like that. But, uh, don't know. Simple as that. I just don't know. It's just, it, all I need is time because Hello Neighbor 2 is not my priority. I have other priorities and that will happen, obviously, just, you know. God, that, that coming out of that game really cre crept up on me, though. <laughs> like, it, it kind of just, like, was like, oh, hey, it's December uh, 6th now, guys. Game's out. Cool. So. You want to... Okay, this is going to be really weird to explain. But until you hit this white concrete here, this in line with this one, this roof that we're about to do wants to touch this red wall. If it, once we hit that white concrete, it'll be another block forward. So basically, um, what we're going to do is, basically at the level that we did the roofs on the side, you want to place two rows of smooth stone moving inward. So that's going, and when I say inwards, I mean going front to back, it will be two whole rows going towards the center. If that also still doesn't make any sense, it'll give you this. And again, make sure that they are in line. You see, this is in line with that birch, and this is in line with that birch. It, it is a block off, and it is weird, but it'll work later, I promise. Then go in with a row of ups and downs, smooth stone slabs. Sick. Up diagonally inward with a row of smooth stone. Just watching that floor. <laughs> Inward with a row of ups and downs, smooth stone slabs. And then from there, you want to fill in the five middle rows in with smooth stone, and they want to be in line with the left side, which is the shorter side. All five rows. Uh, that actually didn't, I didn't realize that worked out that way, so that's nice, because that makes it a little bit easier of an explanation. So it'll kind of just abruptly change in, um, distance back, which is weird, but it'll make sense once we actually get the stuff in back here. Um, just for the fun of it, if you want to come into the bathrooms and in line with the red concrete, if you want to fill in the roofs in with smooth stone, you may. I will, just because I want to get it out of the way. And then we can do some lighting, I think. And then we'll move on to actually getting some decorating going on, because that's the thing we have to do. I'd make sure when you're doing the bathrooms, well, I guess it depends on how you want to build the roofs. If you want to go above for the roofs, make sure you leave the birch open. If not, just go straight across. It really doesn't matter. And also do make sure you get this one block. Another one by three on the entrance. Confusing. I think the more I do tutorials, the more I slightly get better at, like, pointing those things out doesn't make my uh, speed or anything different, but you know, I just feel like I'm slowly getting better at actually explaining what you're supposed to do. In a simple, more like logical way. And I don't know, I want feedback. Is my like explaining of things actually good? Can like you guys understand and actually build these things without having to like rewind every five seconds? That's just something that I'm curious on. I hope you don't because if you have to rewind every five seconds, tough luck. I'm just kidding. Um, that, that would suck. Do we do lights, or do we... Well, my night vision's going out, so, um... <laughs> let's do it. Get out, uh, ochre frog light, or whatever light you want to choose. And we'll start in the bathroom. Okay, we're gonna get some night vision first. Hold on. I almost just absolutely screwed up. Uh, also, get out a lantern. Actually, more than one lantern. And I guess just for fun, you can get out the dark oak sign that we'll need for the bathroom if you are also got a glowing second white dye if you are using snapshots or if you are watching this in the future hi from the future or hi from the past i guess um use hanging signs for this uh but what you want to do is the second smooth stone back you want to place a lantern along the ceiling and then what i did was just place a dark oak sign in front of it and just wrote men on one, women on the other to symbolize the bathrooms, and then obviously the glowing sack and the white dye. If not, I would do the hanging signs in line with the red concrete, because it's gonna create some weird depth uh, in a second here, What we're, how this works. It looks fine, I guess, right now. I mean, it still looks kinda deep in to the bathroom. 
Because you don't want to be like walking and be like, oh, wrong bathroom. Even though that is the right bathroom for me, that was very coincidental. Uh, feel free to laugh at me in the comments. I don't care. But... Surely I have a picture, right? Surely. No? How do I manage to do this? Hold on. How do I do this every time? I miss one room. Okay. Uh, I guess do whatever you want. I'm gonna quickly check, and I don't feel like making a cut. Editing tutorials is too much work, so we'll just do this on video. Because it proves how stupid I am. Okay, two off the front, one off the sides. If you understand that terminology, then go for it. Um, oh, we also... Oh, wait, no, we don't need smooth stone. Never mind. We already filled in the roofs. I'm stupid. Um, but... What was the number? Just kidding. From the front left corner, we'll say go count... Wait. Back two and right one, and then uh, break into the ceiling. And then it's basically just leaving two block apps going in each direction. I guess including diagonally if you want to go there. Is that wall in the wrong spot? You know what it is. So, sorry about that. Um, if, just for clarification, I screwed up, and hopefully I'll have an edit or something in that will fix that. But, if you need a more visual representation as well, there should be, in the doorways, there should be three rows of cyan terracotta and then the wall. Not four, like I originally had it, and probably had it for a majority of the video until about now. Um... I'm sorry about that if you didn't quite get that. It's not an E, or it's not a, like, a particularly big screw-up. It's only big for me because of the fact that I've already built 80% of the, uh, inside stuff. So just, yeah, sorry about that little error. That happens sometimes, I get a lot. Uh, but yeah, and we're just gonna continue. And then when you break all those gaps, fill them in with ochre frog lights in the ceiling. So again, it's two off the front and then one off the sides, so... Pretty simple. But yeah, that was just a mathematical screw up. It does happen a lot. To be honest, I'm surprised I don't do like something like that more. Because that doesn't happen that often. I don't screw up on a grid that often. Or like even in a on placing a wall. But granted a lot of walls aren't like this one to where this one I measured based on the stall and I was like, yeah, okay, so this big no, but no, I got it all off a block. Also my dog started barking and it scared me because it made a she made a really, really weird bark. Okay. Let's start with the big right section here because I just want to do this one because I, I can. Not that one. That one. Okay. So this one is three off the front and back, two off the side. So if you're at the front corner, you'll count back by three and left by two and break uh, one. Sorry, not two by two. We're not doing those anymore. The reason it's three, you'll see why it's three. I know I normally don't do three like that, but it'll make sense later. Uh, just cause, yeah. And then again, you're breaking in, replacing with the frog lights. I guess I'll do both at the same time. Okay, never mind. I'll, I'll do both at the same time. So it'll actually be one off the left, and it should also be three off the back. Yeah. Sorry, that slightly confused me. So I guess you could go up against the wall if you really wanted to, although it doesn't entirely matter, and you'll see why. But uh, you'll have the same thing happen on the left side, where the right will be one block less than the left will be and it'll make sense later but that was actually very quick uh left side it is yet again three off the wait is it three no it actually might not be hold on what am i copying yeah it's three off the front and back or it might be two off the back it might be two off the back but it's three off the front and two off the left so from the front left, count back three, count right two, and then break two by two. Or no, it's not a two by two. Why do I keep saying it's a two by two? It's not a two by two. Um but yeah, it will be two off the back and then one off the right again. Which I did explain in a minute ago. And there's only nine lights, this one's easy. And then there's one more of these that we have to do, and then we can move on. Although the next part also doesn't have lighting in that area, so uh <laughs> I guess we'll do that section next. We'll do all that back. Because that takes a lot of materials. There you go. And then the middle section, it is... Basically, coming to the row of smooth stone slabs and off the front, you want to... You want to find the image first. Hold on, give me a second. You want to leave a two-block gap off the front, and then it will be here, and then just every two blocks. And this just goes with the shape of the roof. So it's two blocks, and then it will be this row of slabs here that will be our next victim. I mean... 
uh, light holder thing. It's not very descriptive. Light holder isn't even a phrase. Well, it is a phrase, but it isn't a logical phrase. And then it'll be this row here. This one's kind of weird the way it works, but it's fine, I'm sure. You know what? If it looks dumb to you, then, uh, I don't know, don't build it. <laughs> Quite simple. I only did the slanted roof so I could keep it sort of level with this one while also changing it so it's high enough for this window. Because if it wasn't, you'd see it would cut off the window perfectly. That window would just be sad. And we don't like making our windows sad, so we have to find purposes for all of them. Or at least make them feel like they're part of the build. Because stairs have feelings too. Or windows, not stairs. I was thinking of stairs because stairs, then stair, and stair, but you can't see them. Nice. That's basically the mass amount of your lighting done. Now, since I still have night vision, I want to do this next part. Clear inventory and get out a lot of concrete. Hold on, let me get the, okay. Red concrete, green concrete, oh my god, Christmas colors. Black concrete, orange concrete, yellow terracotta, and then red nether brick slabs, polished blackstone slabs, Birch slabs, and we'll go ochre frog lights again. In line with the top row of birch here at the right side, you want to place a green concrete moving forward. Bring it left by five. Then leave a one block gap and place in black concrete. Bring that left by... Six. One block at, place yellow terracotta, and then connect that to the left wall. And then the... Again, the ends of these will be brought back to the back wall with their respective uh, material. And they will actually touch the wall this time. They will not be hovering away from it by a block, because they're not uh, antisocial. Like the uh, white concrete use are. I'm going to call them use. That's the wrong material. I love doing that. And then it will be the block amount of blocks you need is one yellow terracotta on top of the yellow terracotta, two rows of orange concrete on top of the black concrete. I know we're going left to right all of a sudden. Cry about it, I guess. I don't know. Um, and then it's I, it's a large number of red on the green. I think it's three or something, or it's more than two. Is it more than two? Yes, yeah, three, three, three red concrete on the green concrete. These are kind of like the colors that I saw in the image that I looked up, so uh, that's why I use them. I didn't just decide that these colors would be funny to use. I had slightly a purpose. Uh, like so. Um, so you'll notice the three slab colors we got are kind of close to red, black, and uh, yellow. I don't know why I did red, actually. Okay, get rid of your red and other brick slabs then and get out, uh, not brick blocks, although you do need those in a minute here. Uh, I'll go dark prismarine slabs. And now you can have a green, black, and yellow, and you want to, um, uh, color match. So in the green concrete place, upside on dark prismarine slabs, filling in the roof. In the, uh, black concrete, polished black, upside on polished blackstone slabs, and the yellow terracotta ups and on birch slabs. If you want to use something other than birch, you can, because I realize birch is also the wall color, but that was the only yellowish slab that I could think of that wasn't endstone brick, because I'm very biased against endstone brick. I don't know why, I just am. I mean, you could even go orange, I guess. Like, what even is there? there there's acacia, but that's too orange. There's smooth sandstone, but that's just ugly. Endstone brick, we don't talk about here. That's, yeah, those are our options. They really need a yellow slab. Like, they have almost every other color out of the main Minecraft colors. Except for, like, magenta, because magenta is dumb. I'm just slandering colors right now. Anyways, I didn't take an image of this either. So we're going to guess, and we're going to say that come to the middle row of the left and the middle one. You want to come to the third slab forward, break. But replace with a frog light and then leave two block gaps moving forward until you hit the front and you're one block away from the front which I think is how I did it I'm pretty sure that's how I did it and then at the right one I, it doesn't really matter go either more to the right or more to the left I'll go more to the right because that makes it feel like it's more centered properly
quickly get out some moose stone and just fill in these long gaps here in between the um well counter area thingies with smooth stone. Nice. Okay, this one looks sad because it's divided by the ah uh, by the birch. So what's next? Uh you don't want anything in inventory and you want to get out. So probably gives a nice transition. Let's try to do this in a way where it will. Brick block. Birch planks. Smokers. Or furnaces, doesn't really matter. Iron trap doors. Uh, cauldron. Lever. Water. And then orange and yellow dye. And what you want to do is you want to come behind... Basically, you just want to place three um, cauldrons with an orangish-yellow water in it. You want to place a smoker with an iron trap door on top, a cauldron with a lever above it, and then you want to have space for a fridge. So, I did this differently in each one, and the far right one, I'll start there. I placed three cauldrons from the front right going left, or sorry, back right going left, and then filled them with water, once orange dye, once yellow dye. Left one black app moving forward on the left, place cauldron with a lever above it powered on. Left one black app moving forward on the right from that, smoker with iron trap door on top. And there will be a fridge in this gap. Middle one, I placed three cauldrons in the direct center back, fill with water again with the orange and yellow dye. Then I left a two block app moving forward, placed a row of brick blocks, connected it to the ceiling with birch blanks, and also got rid of these three upside down slabs that are in my way. Uh, middle of this, no, sorry, left of this cauldron with a lever above it powered on, right of this smoker with iron trap door on top. And then coming to the left one, and I did three from three cauldron from the front left, moving right, actually four. Uh, makes the left three the water uh, with the orange and yellow dye, and then the right one lever the lever lever above powered on. Moving forward on the left, smoker with an iron trap door on top with a that has a one block out from that last um, cauldron, and then there will again be a fridge here. You can add more here. I just didn't feel like it. I got really lazy. Um, things you could add: dishwasher, trash can. Um, I didn't have any trash cans in this restaurant other than the bathrooms because my logic was that most restaurants don't technically need trash cans because they clean up your trash, which is really funny to think about. Not funny, but I guess just interesting to think about that fast food restaurants is like, yep, throw out your trash, but a nice fancy restaurant's like, here, I got you, bro. Um, anything else? The thing that I should really should have added, the cash register thing, uh, which that's easy. You can literally just place two blocks on the floor, uh, next to each other and then on top of one of them just place a stone bricks there. That's all I do. Um but yeah, what I wanna what I want you to do is get rid of your brick block, your birch planks, your smoker, your iron trap door, and then your water bucket and your two dies. You only have cauldron and lever left. And get out. Smooth quartz blocks. Smooth quartz stairs. Birch trap door. Birch door. And we'll go pack dice. Um, actually, get out stone slabs and stone blocks. I was going to say that'll finish our build, but then I realized we have the seats to do, so that's technically false. Um, and again, just in each each of these back areas, you can just place two smooth quartz blocks, one on top of the other with a birch trap door on the tag, on whatever face you think is most logical. It should, for all three of them, for me, it's next to the oven, and two of them, it's between the sink and the oven. Um... But on the other one, it's on the far side. So they actually, I think, line up between the two sides. Yeah, they do. Kind of creates an almost symmetrical thing, although this one is shorter than this one is because of how this my math worked out. But yeah, there you go. Not half bad. Uh, you still have a lot of space in most of these, except for the middle one. So again, do what you want. I'd give you some suggestions. Dishwasher would be the only one that would actually probably go back here, but whatever. Um... I kind of did not use this space like great. You could technically get rid of these two windows and wall this off and make this more kitchen related stuff. You have lots of options. You have lots of space to uh, commit set options. 
So I'll think about that more. Hey, my night vision's going. I don't need it this time, so whatever. So in the bathroom, I'm only going to explain this once because I only have the uh, motivation to explain it once. From the back left-hand corner or the back right-hand corner, it doesn't matter, you want to count forward by three. And on this sign terracotta, you want to place an opposite on stone slab on top. Bring it right with a birch door, three opposite on slabs, birch door, three opposite on slabs, Birch door, three upside down slabs. Birch door, upside down slab. Just quickly, if this wall is touching that door, then you you need to move that wall forward a block. Uh, that was the thing that I was explaining earlier in here. Um, I know this is tight. I again misdid my math somehow. I don't know how I misdid that math. I think as I double layered this wall, I think that was what screwed me up. But I still don't quite understand how that happened. Anyways, uh, take each upside down. Take each middle upside down stone slab and those rows of threes and connect them to the back wall. Whoopsies. Um, in each of these four spots in the back center, place smooth quartz block. Bring it forward to the upside down smooth quartz stair. Bring that stair up with the birch trap door. Bring that trap door back with the smooth quartz block and then place a lever on the left face of that block. And then do that in all four of them, even though you can kind of just peek over and say hello to your um, neighbor. Which isn't entirely what a stall is for, so let's change that. There you go. Pretty easy. Place a stone block on top of each upside down stone slab. A lot of T's going on here. And then on top of each stone block and birch door, you want to place a stone slab. And then that will give you something like this. It's very, very basic, and it's. I think I've been using this design for longer than stone slabs have been in the game. <laughs> I used to use upside down smooth stone slabs because they didn't have stone slabs. So just throwing that out there as a reference point, how much I have not bothered to change it. Um, yeah. Then along the front wall, from the doorway, you want to count to the third brick block, which is this one right here. Place cauldron. Then leave one block absent and just place cauldrons until you're three blocks away from the uh, far, far wall. Though I think I actually reversed that, which is fine. Birch planks above the cauldrons. Uh, break them and replace them with packed ice. And then place levers on the packed ice, powered on. And then you're turning on your ice, apparently. Um, that's kind of weird. But yeah, they're mirrors. If you want to go up another block with them, you can. Like that. Nine feet tall. I don't know who who has a six foot tall mirror. Actually, I've seen a lot of six foot tall mirrors And when I say a lot, I mean one anyways do the same thing in the other bathroom So again, it's basically just uh, you're dividing the back three rows into three by three You're basically dividing the back into three by three squares with doors on the fronts of them and then toilets in them And then the sinks it's not that hard, which is why I'm not explaining it other than that if you really need the uh, slow explanation then uh and go back, I guess, a little bit. I'm sorry for making it inconvenient. I just don't have the wherewithal to do this right now. I think, especially with, like, the restaurants, I think I'm slowly getting tired of them only because they're the same thing every time. Or, like, very close. This is a little different, but it's, like, it's still bathrooms, it's chairs, it's counters, it's kitchens. It's the same thing. So after a while, it's like, I mean, you know, is there really any point in making this? But, I mean, this one was also a little bit different, and I... I don't know. But, like, if I do... If I do McDonald's again, I'll probably do an interior, just because I have to. But if I'm, like, doing... I don't know. If I'm doing something... Some random restaurant, may, maybe maybe some remake or something. I might just not do it, because there's no point. I mean, I've already made... Especially with... I guess... I guess, like, Applebee's. If I were to do a third Applebee's. I've already done two Applebee's interiors. There's no point in doing another one, you know? That's just my stance. Like, y you got two Applebee's to look at interiors for. One of them, which is a lot nicer than the other, and I will say that without hesitation. Uh, but yeah. There you've done your two bathrooms. Nice. It, they really aren't that hard. And if you don't like my bathroom design, then I don't know. Go make your own. Um, I'm always convincing, or in... Words. I'm always... Frick, what is the word? Bruh. I, okay, never mind. Ignore that I was saying anything. 
Uh, before I forget, get off some moose court slabs really quickly and just... <coughs> <laughs> around the outside we have this one row of red concrete just round it with smooth quart slabs and um don't go in front of the christmas section when i say the christmas section i mean the green and red thing don't go in front of that and also don't go in front of this area here uh just around the big outside the big outsides we'll go with that that's good terminology for the day there you go pretty simple and also i guess if you want to do it the far back here you can it really doesn't matter those are dark crevices anyways no one will notice there you go. That is why the lights are weird. Because that. I'm like cold and sweating at the same time. I hate this. <laughs> I don't like that feeling. It's weird. Uh, but yeah. It, it's just because I wanted that row of red. I wanted to incorporate the smooth quartz in the red like I did on the outside. So it's like, yeah, perfect. Clear inventory again and get out of <laughs> smooth quartz blocks. Black stained glass panes. Red nether brick stairs, oak fence, yellow carpet, composters, and oak trap doors. The two trash cans in the entire build. Just come into basically come into either bathroom and in these this little corner here, just place a compost with an oak trap door on top. That is the most logical spot for a trash can when you're leaving the bathroom. Because that's where people are most likely to actually throw the thing in the trash can and not, you know on the floor um from the technically the right and the left although um they are different lengths so I guess if you want to do both then feel free but from the front right for me I'll count back to the third gray wool going backward place two red nether brick stairs facing left smooth quartz block and then two stairs facing left again leave a two block or no place going left from either from each stair two oak fence Red nether brick stair facing right, stair facing left, two fence, stair facing right, stair facing left, two oak fence, and you just want to keep doing this and doing this until you're roughly in line with the door. I want to say I stopped just short of the door, which will be there. And I didn't add one of those things because um, based on the way the restaurant seems, it almost seems like it is a seat yourself. If you want to just add, like, it's literally just an oak plank with a slab on top and a slab behind it. It's not that hard. But yeah, on top of each oak fence plus a yellow carpet, my voice is slowly getting dr drier. Is that a word? I don't think your voice can get drier. I'm questioning my own grammar today really hardly. Okay. And then it'll just be the smooth quartz will come through the middle with the pans, which I'll explain again once I get my water. Okay, cool. Uh, again, bring this row of smooth quartz blocks just through this middle, and then stop at the end and place a row of black stained glass pans on top. Just a nice little design. A little bit more modern, a little bit more fancy. Uh, Golden Crawl seems like it would be that type of place to be fancy in your face like that. Uh, <laughs> But, and I take the right three tables and just basically staple them onto the back wall here. Um, minus the little middle divider. Actually, I only go I only go two. I don't want anybody to be too close to the bathroom because I wouldn't want to be for sure. There you go. And then you basically want to do the same thing at the left side, except it's slightly different. Uh, still two blocks away from the front, the two stairs, block, two stairs, whatever. And then it'll be the two fence, two stair thing, whatever again. Except I think you only want two tables. Can you go for a third? Sure, I guess. I don't care. But I only did two. I'm just showing you what I did. And then again, the smooth quartz blocks through the middle, the panes on top of them, and then the yellow carpet on the oak fence. And the next one I'll have to explain more thoroughly because it's weird and different. So, I made the mistake of making this one a block off. Um, it technically isn't a mistake, it's personal preference. But, um, in line with the center of the windows, you just want to place uh, basically five smooth quartz blocks moving back. Again, if you want it in line, make it in line with the uh, other tables. Make sure that it spans the entirety of them. And then bring the middle block left and right with the smooth quartz block. Then place basically stairs in each little crevice which almost looks like a, a waiting area. 
But you want to bring each uh, stair right or left, whichever one, with two oak fence, and then a, uh, again over another brick stair. And then, same thing, the smooth quartz blocks are the middle, panes on top of the blocks, and then the yellow carpet on top of the fence. Again, why I hate restaurants, you can only do so much with seating. Or why I hate doing the interiors for them. I'm fine with doing exteriors, I just might stop doing so many interiors for them because I'm burning myself out. And like, you know, they, they can't, you can't get too crazy with them. I mean, you can add some cool stuff, which I try to do sometimes. This one was just weird. Um, but like, what was the last one I did? I feel like I did something cool on that. I don't know. I might have done the hedges or something, or the plants going on the door. Krispy Kreme, that's what it was. Well, that was a whole different story. Um, but uh, yeah, once you've done that, ladies and gentlemen, that is the interior for your Golden Corral complete. I'm sorry, it's not my favorite interior that I've made. But having no experience with being to the restaurant, how different it is compared to, like, your average, I don't know, Outback Steakhouse or whatever. Um, it's certainly different. Um, so that was a bit of a challenge. Um, but hopefully you do like it. Thank you guys, if you guys did enjoy this video, let me know what you guys think of this and how accurate it actually is to a real Golden Corral since I have never been. I have a finished dinner and I will see you on the next one. Peace.